Hey guys! So I had mentioned in last week's video that I was going to be doing an eyeliner tutorial. Uh, by the way, if my makeup looks really weird, it's because I have no eyeliner and no mascara on. I'm going to do that um, now as part of the tutorial. As far as the way I'm going to do this eyeliner, I have never seen anyone do this in a video and I've never read it in a magazine or on a blog, nothing like that. I just decided to start, I just decided to try it one day and um, I like the way it looks so I kept on doing it and I thought well this is kind of a unique way of doing eyeliner so I'm going to show you what I've been doing. Now it's no secret, if you've been watching my videos for a while, it's no secret that I like to use eyeshadow as an eyeliner, but what I used to do, and still do, is take the darkest color in my eyeshadow look and then use it as an eyeliner. Now I wouldn't recommend doing this if you're using an eyeshadow that has shimmer or sparkle in it because it's probably not going to be good for your eyes to do what I'm about to show you. So if you have an eyeliner that has shimmer or sparkle, I would say, you know, don't do it because it could be harmful uh, to your eyes. And you'll see why I'm saying that when you see how I'm doing the eyeliner. Okay, so like I said, um, I've been using eyeshadow as an eyeliner for a while now and what I do is I just take a little um, smudger type brush this is actually the precise shader brush from Zoeva this was um, a gift from my friend June here on YouTube uh, she's the Suki Babs went I'll put a link to her channel in the description box she hasn't been making videos lately but uh, you can check her out if you want to, but yeah, this is the Precise Shader Brush from Zoeva, but any kind of a smudger brush that's really small will work for what I'm about to show you. So, the darkest color that I have on right now is Gabriel Cosmetics in Charcoal is what I have on in the crease, and it's just a dark gray matte eyeshadow. Um, I got this at Whole Foods Market, I've already done a video about it. And what I do, and I'm going to have to use my, my makeup mirror because no way can I do this with the webcam on the computer. It's just too, for precision work, I have got to use a makeup mirror. So I'm going to start with what I've always been doing along the lower lash line. And you've seen that before. But the new part is what I do up at the top. So let me just do the bottom part first. And all I do is I just take a little bit of the eyeshadow and put it on the smudger brush. And be careful that you, if you want to try this at home, just be careful you don't put too much product on your brush because it's going to make it difficult to uh, be neat with it. And also when you do the top part, if you have too much product on your brush, you're going to get fallout. And then you're going to have to try to clean up a dark color um, without getting it all over your other makeup. And it's just going to be a big mess. So try to just put a small amount on your brush. And I am going to have to turn this light on, otherwise I'm not going to be able to see what I'm doing. And that's going to alter what you see there. But I have to do it, otherwise... I can't, I can't do it without light. So, all right, so I'm just gonna put a small amount on my brush and then I'm gonna go right along the lash line. And like I said, I've done this part of it before. I'm not gonna go under the lashes and I'm not gonna go directly on the water line. I'm just gonna go right at the root of the lashes. And I'm just kind of, oh shoot, that's not going to show up on the camera. It's 11 Try and get, there we go. Now maybe you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going right along the root of the lashes, just kind of like a slight dragging motion. And once I get level with the iris of my eye, I start to go thinner and less intense. 
So I'm going to concentrate the color from the outer corner of my eye right to the iris and shut that off so you can see. Okay, so i am just put the tiniest, tiniest little amount on the inside part and concentrate the color darker as you go out. And I, I've tried it like all different ways. I've tried it under the lashes. I've tried it directly on the waterline. And really, I think the way it looks best is right along the roots of the lashes. Okay, so let me do the other eye. And like I said, just take, take a, a tiny, tiny amount. Otherwise, it's just going to be a big mess. And I just kind of like almost wiggle it into the roots there. And you definitely have to have a small brush to do this. And if you have to go back and put more product on your brush, then go ahead and do it because um, it's better to keep dipping your brush back in the eyeshadow pot than it is to put too much on to start with and then have to try to fix it. If you do make a mistake, um, I would recommend using a Q-tip to try to clean it up a little bit, but if you just keep the product on the brush to a minimum, you shouldn't have to do that. Okay, I'm going to just go, go back and try to even it out now by putting a little bit more on the other eye. It's like 90 something degrees outside and humid, so the air conditioning in my house doesn't distribute the air evenly. This end of the house, it's always way too hot, and then the other end of the house, it's too cold. <laughs> So, um, very uncomfortable right now. Kind of can't wait to get out of this room. Okay, so that hasn't changed. This is the way I've been doing my eyeliner on the lower lash. Now, I used to just leave it like this. But it creates an imbalance because now you've got all this eyeliner underneath your eyes and nothing on top. So it looks out of whack. So what I've been doing, you know that I'm not a fan of the winged liner that everybody, everybody <laughs> does now. Um, not a fan of that. And even to just draw a line along the upper lash line. I don't know. I just don't like the way it closes off my eyes. I want my eyes to be as big looking as possible. And when you put the liner up there, it closes off your lid space. So what I've been doing is tight lining with a brush and shadow. Now, this is not going to be for everybody and it takes a lot of practice to get good at it. But, um, I just, I really like the way it looks, and I'll show you the way I do it. I'm sure there's lots of different ways you can do it, but I'm going to show you how I do it. So again, just put, put a small amount of product on your brush. Don't put a lot or, you know, especially when you do the tight lining. If you have too much product on your brush, it's going to fall down from that area and just make a big mess on your face. So... If you have to dip your brush back into the pot, fine. 
Okay, now this is not for the timid. <laughs> Um, and this is why I said you should use a matte shadow, because if you use shimmer or sparkle on your tight line, it probably could, you know, do some damage. So definitely use a matte shadow for this. Okay, now I don't like pull my eye back or anything crazy like that, because I find that that creates more sensitivity. So I just stick the brush right in that tight line area and very gently just drag it through that area and yeah this takes a lot of practice and a lot of redipping into the eyeshadow pot and you can create less sensitivity the closer you keep it to the root the lash root if you put it too much like on the tight line, and by the way, I keep dipping my brush into the shadow pot on the table here, which you can't see me doing. But yeah, the, the more you put it on the tight line itself, the more sensitive it's going to be and the more awkward and the more likely you are to make a mistake. So try to keep it as close to the lashes roots as possible. But just drag, keep dipping your brush back into the shadow pot and just keep dragging it along that area. And practice makes perfect. The more you do this, the better you get at going to get at it the neater it's going to look you know you're gonna make mistakes in the beginning but um, again just try to take a q-tip or something like that to try to fix any mistakes that you make but I've been doing this like this now for probably a couple of weeks and I just think that you know it creates some balance with the lower lash line And when you first start doing this, it's going to feel funny and, you know, you will have some sensitivity. If you put too much shadow on your brush, not only will you get fallout, but it's going to make your eyes more sensitive when you do this. I know it's hard for you to see what I'm doing, but like I said, I have to use the mirror. Okay, so I've got a fair amount of product now along that area, and I'm going to look up so you can see what I've done here. I don't know how well you'll be able to see that. So I tried to put it as close to the lash line as possible. A little bit onto the actual tight line and just drag a small amount right along that whole length there and now see how it just kind of balances everything out as far as the liner goes now I'm going to apply my mascara because if you apply your mascara first it's going to get messy um, so you're better off doing the mascara after and this is L'Oreal Miss Manga which is from their Voluminous line. If you have shaky hands or anything like that, 
you know, shaky hands, nervous tremor, anything like that, I would definitely not recommend you trying that uh, tight line method because, you know, you don't want to have any eye injuries or anything like that. So you know yourself better than anybody. If you've got a steady hand and you think you can do it, then try it because I just I love the way it looks but a lot of times when I see people tight lining they pull their eye back to do it and I really feel like that's a mistake because it just increases the sensitivity in that area when you pull it back like that um, it your eyes are going to start watering like crazy. So just, you know, don't do anything with trying to manipulate your eye at all. Just stick the brush in there. But of course, you know, you're going to need a good um, makeup mirror. If you have to, you can um, use a magnified, magnified mirror. Uh, I don't have to do that. I can see well enough without it, but a lot of makeup mirrors, one side is regular, the other side is magnified. Go ahead and use the magnified side if you, if it makes it easier for you. You know, that's what it's there for. Okay, so got my mascara on now, and there is the finished look. So, see with the mascara, the eyeliner looks so much better, and, um, now it creates more of a balance here. So that's the way I've been doing my eyeliner pretty much every day for a couple weeks now. And I'm not gonna take my hair down to show you the completed look because it is so hot in here right now that I'd probably pass out if I did. So that's my eyeliner tutorial. And yeah, this, this eye needs to be blended a little bit. <laughs> so that I can see this shadow right there, I didn't quite blend it as good as I could have in the center. So I'll fix that after I shut off the camera. And that's my eyeliner tutorial. Any questions, leave them in the comment section and I'll see you next time. Bye.